The JDM era is over. 2008 Hummer H3. Or the guy in the YouTube says it's the Cope Hummer, or the Commer, if you will. Oh. Uh, I don't sleep. Damn, look at that. Trailblazer, though? What, the Captain Hook edition? <laughs> all, yeah. all screenshots. Bad sign. Why do you take a picture in front of the appliance store? Why do you take Two a picture? Two different appliance stores. <laughs> the buy here, pay here appliance store, too. <laughs> yeah, I think go back, dude. I His go back business. to the other picture. Look, he's in another appliance store. It's not even the same one. Yeah, <laughs> he's just hauling appliances. He likes appliances. <laughs> it's like Seven Eleven, but for Detroit. I Look, thought that's that, all they like, got. This in would that be town. the one that he owned, but you're right. It, it's two completely different appliances. Yeah, stores. he's a oh, ballistic. That's, that's the spot. That's where you hang out in this town. That's all right. Yeah, I think it's three different appliance stores. <laughs> <laughs> ask him ask him why why did you take a picture in front of different appliance stores <laughs> <laughs> maybe he owns them all maybe he's an appliance repair guy we'll, we'll try to find out maybe he's just promoting local business now here is a fine vehicle for your sub ten thousand dollar sub 100,000 mile requirement. It's a 2001 I... C5 Corvette, 9,900 bucks, 98,000 miles, sadly an automatic. Car runs great and looks very nice, has no mechanical problems, clean title in hand. It, the thing mm. about this is some boomer took excellent care of this. Mm -hmm. So like, you yeah. know you're getting your money's worth. The, the automatic's so holding it back. That's the only reason it's sub no, 10,000 bucks. No, no, I'll take it automatic. Look at that. And plus, plus the automatics have the Corvette motor. Oh, true. Oh, yep. sick. That's already Damn. swapped, tell us. Real. Mm -hmm. Got the Corvette <laughs> motor in it. That's the thing, is you know some boomer took, like, this thing absolute is clean care of this, and yeah. you're just gonna trash it? Like, I'm I'm here for it. You oh. can look cool as shit for $9,000. Hell and, yeah. And spank, like, a lot of shit on the road. And LS reliability. Yeah. This is actually a pretty reasonable... Yeah. Thing. No, you won't have to do shit to this thing. You can neither spend over $10,000 LS swapping your piece of shit S13... Or you can buy this. Yeah. Yeah, or you could just buy an LS car already. Buy this thing yeah. and spend two thousand dollars manual swapping it. And have yeah. a better car in every sense of the word. The JDM era is over. I'm trying to talk some shit. Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some shit. Bitch. JDM over. Acquire C fives. Yep. Acquire C fives. I want a ZR1. Oh, oh God, H3 I want a ZR1. X Sport Utility. 2008 Hummer H3, 8,500 bucks, 88,000 miles. This is a five-cylinder, 3.7 liter with 88,000 miles. And by the way, it is a manual. Oh, oh wow. Shit. Wild to me. Four by four. Manual transmission. Those Sick. little five-cylinder engine. Did they make a lot of these? Like, I, I like, what's the take rate on In the a manual? Stick? That's no. Sick. <laughs> that can't be, like, That's this might be the sick. only one ever. <laughs> yeah. What GM did with the H3 was they make the H2 and it's like, oh, look how base this car is. Only rich people get it. Then they make the H3 and the people that can afford the H2 are like, oh, look, I must be rich because I can afford a Hummer. The Cope Hummer. The Cope Hummer, yeah. yeah, yeah. And nobody's nobody wants the f***ing standard in it. No one wants yeah. manual transmission. But now. It's like what Tesla did with the Model 3. People are like, oh, Oh my god, I can I can afford a Model 3. I must be rich. I can afford a Tesla. That did work. A Tesla? It, it did. did work. Yeah, and what but you're saying now, is true. Like the people who are buying I can H3 afford then, Gucci yeah. slides. I must be rich. Yeah. <laughs> the people who were buying these 15 years ago or whatever, this would have been looked down upon. But now I see. Yeah, now go, it's cool. Oh, this would be a great yeah, truck. I think they're cool now. Yeah. It's, Especially it's the, the H3T. Uh... Yeah, the, the H3T <laughs> the H3T is sick. Or the guy in uh, 125 and the YouTube says it's the Cope Hummer or the Commer, if you will. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh -huh. Damn. A rare miss on a cum joke for me. That's what I'm sleeping <laughs> on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I keep yeah, seeing yeah, this yeah. one with the, the rain coming down. It's it's uh, we gotta figure it's out what bothering that is. me, yeah. It's a QX fifty. <laughs> long ugly. ass raindrops. It's just some ugly ass crossover. This guy needed to sell it so bad he went FX. out in the storm. It's got to go now. Buy the Infinity, dumpster in the apartment complex. Infinity design language is so fucking ugly, dude. Yeah. On God. Ever since um, post G35, really, it's been yeah. really bad. Yeah. When yeah. they made the G35 like a fat piece of shit. I like the way the G35 looks now, but like the, the G37 starts like, to get look, bad. This right here, looking straight on, yeah. I would think it's what it's whatever the after G35 is. Yeah, it's fucking ugly. Like all all Nissan stuff is from like 2010 on. Like it all just yeah, looks like I guess all I bubbly wouldn't and say... shitty. They all look like Nissan Verosas or Toyota Verosa. <laughs>
You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I would say it's coming back around finally, but like it does not look no, good. No, I don't think Infinity will ever ever come back around. Nissan it's saw ugly, this ugly. thing, dude, and they were just like, you know what? Do it to the whole line. <laughs> Do it to every our entire car. identity. This is R slash just f my shit up car version. <laughs> Yep. That smooth, turd look. Hard on the eyes. There he is. There he is. Easy He's on the eyes. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Easy <laughs> on the eyes. <laughs> then we get a the, beer and some cheese. The Stang, though. Nick, here's got a munch. Here's a, oh, he, he left oh, the perfect time. Here's was, a third yeah, gen time. Toyota Super. It's a piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 5,000 bucks three days ago, Omaha, Nebraska. Toyota Super target top manual transmission. Not interested in a trade for another car. I need the garage space. Starts and runs, but has been sitting for years in storage. It oh. needs a lot. A lot. <laughs> and oh just stickers what? what does what does that mean what what? what? Let me pull that up for you guys to see he says just stickers i, I don't know um uh i will what we'll keep going with it <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, why you? Yeah, all right. What, anyway, what you, what you talking about? It's a project in a Mark III Supra. It was resprayed, paints good, Lexus has new spray. battery, fuel pump, hood, blah 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 blah. Uh, um, basically, it just needs brakes. Is really what it says. Uh, oh wow! I mean, it needs a lot. Oh well, he oh, he swapped oh, okay. the whole ass engine. No, he's got an extra one. Selling oh, extra W58. Selling extra W58 as well as 2JZ GE VVTI motor. No, you're buying a project. Get get the fuck out. Plan was Run. to build and turbo the 2J to swap into this car. Get out of here. Yeah, f*** that. Yeah, all right. So Nick was right. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, it's a sad day when Neck is right, but we'll move on. God, and we yeah. just won't tell him. Go back to that Mustang, though. What? Don't tell me what. No, here's, a, here's a 2007 <laughs> Mustang <laughs> GT Premium Cube, 6,500 bucks, Grant, Alabama. Tell me what it was, YouTube. Miles. And I have available for sale this 07 Mustang GT with a Georgia title in hand. The engine has an upgrade intake and is healthy slash strong with approximately 85,000 miles on it. Uh-oh. The manual transmission has approximately 200,000 miles. <laughs> oh, Yo. So there you go. It's 6,500 bucks. It's a 200,000 mile Mustang. It don't this look too bad. For the, for the miles. Yeah. Oh, so be. the Super was a piece of shit. No. No, it was fine. Okay. It was one of the best ones we've ever seen. It was a great <laughs> Supra. The door panel looks like an office no. carpet. It's, it's a manual, though. It's a stick. It's got 200,000 miles on it, but the engine only has 85K, dude. Uh, this is this is a high school car to me. Like, yeah. that's, that's yeah. high school yeah. Thousand yeah. percent, a high badass high school car. car. Yeah, it is. Really. I'll, I'll give you it that. would be the king of the parking lot. Like, yeah. Chad's getting all the. Trim. Yeah, you can take still say that? the crowd with this 2007. Yeah. <laughs> you can accelerate that school to prison pipeline with this thing. The f- <laughs> tires and wheels are terrible, though. They are it's one high schooler selling to another. Okay. Oh, actually, look at the. Yeah, is there's this the angle of the like, photo, or yeah, it I think the left be. side sticks out more. So, so this sticks out like a foot, and the, that looks like shit. the other side doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it, it does sticks look out, like but not as much. Over, yeah. Is it like in a hole in the ground? And look, maybe? At the, look at the look at the tire to fender on both sides. You're right. This is this is not sticking out nearly as far as the side is. I woke up in a Anyway, so this car is a piece of sh**. Do you live in a society, but belong in a society? Do you play bass guitar, but wish you were blasting trumpets? Fear not, rude boy. A benevolent god has created Collector Car Feed, bestowed onto you. At CollectorCarFeed.com, when you search for Facebook Marketplace 350Zs, you get a list of Facebook Marketplace 350Zs. No Altimas, no V6 Mustangs, no Kia Souls. Just exactly the f***ing car you f***ing wanted to see every f***ing time. Thanks to Collector Car Feed, I got my very own 350Z without all the headache of using Facebook Marketplace. I'm blasting trumpets, throwing that sh** sideways, getting doors, and deaf as fuck. The ladies love it too. I'm plowing more beaver than a reckless riverboat captain. Thanks, Collector Car Feed. CollectorCarFeed.com. Lock up your daughters, or they're coming home pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> 6500 bucks <laughs> needs two rear tires asap along with the clutch cable done <laughs> wonder what he's been doing with this <laughs> I need tires now he's got the blobfish front end yeah <laughs> that bumper's so f- ugly dude bumper yeah. looks like the bumper of a pontiac g8 the blob oh, no it does oh, yeah. not the, the, the sniffs on the front the sniff yeah yeah the holes aren't the sniff that that piece is the nose the piece that hangs down is the nose yeah this is the nose right here <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yo! What's up? 2002 Subaru Impreza WRX Sportwagon, 7,000 bucks, Cal P- Calpine, California, 65,000 bucks, five speed manual, 225,000 miles on the chassis, 65,000 miles on complete re engine on engine rebuild, new OEM turbo, clutch, trans, rear diff, front and rear axles all have 65,000 miles. We'll provide so receipts. It's gone through at least three engines. So it's, yeah. it's, it's 65,000 miles on that brand new engine rebuild, but by the way, uh, the head gasket was replaced. 10,000 miles ago <laughs> due to an external coolant leak. It was just an external leak. coolant leak, dude. Oh, it's fine. Dude, it wasn't the head gasket's fault. It wasn't what you're thinking. It was the other thing. Brimbro breaks. Brimbro. And that's all we Brimbro. need to yeah, 7KOBO. So this thing I just can't stop blowing head gaskets, huh? Oh, no. It, dude, he, he's got the BBSs. He's got the Brembros. <laughs> he just replaced Blow the head gasket. Good gaskets. for another 5K. Easy. Right. A it comes with a pack of extra a lot gaskets. Up. This is another car <laughs> yeah. that that I will I will have. He's got the STI a, intercooler. Yeah, the STI intercooler. Yo, they'll go back to the first a, picture. A, a, a blue bug eye, dude. That's a blue bug eye wagon. What's That's good like, with that? It will happen. Good with that Tacoma back there. Is that Tacoma? Yeah, it's a Tacoma. No, it's an F-150, I think. I think he's right. I think he, needs, he needs to enhance. Oh, it is, yeah. Type. You right, you right. And Vukos Sick truck. A, yeah, Vukos is a Toyota guy through and through. Yeah. Fuck no, rock. I think I it's a Mazda. I can tell by the pixels. It's a B2500. Get out of here. It's gone. <laughs> so, Rip. I mean, he did all this 65,000 miles ago. He did it all again 10,000 miles ago. <laughs> what are the odds he did it right this I, time or hasn't been doing the thing that's uh, going to make it blow up again? Well, he already says he wanted to replace water pump and timing belts. So do you like, go into this yeah. just assuming what that you're going to have there? to do the rebuild? No, well, I, I wouldn't. I know. I would say I would check it, but I would say if it's installed right, it's probably good for another 800,000. I would think uh, that. I mean, it hasn't made 100,000 miles he didn't, yet. <laughs> <laughs> that, he, that he didn't deck the heads. That's well, why like, I got but, the, 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 the external leak. Right. Like, yeah, like either he didn't deck the heads, but also like the timing belt's the other thing that always goes on these. So, like, what else is there at this point? You get some miles out of the thing. Bobby Sausage, rare miss, a rare L on the t No, that's a, I mean, nah, I agree with Sausage. It's on brand. Makes a sense rare, for his a, whole brand. A rare Bobby Sausage <laughs> miss. Really to the point on that one. Uh-oh. Bobby says he even has a WRX. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's allowed to say it. Yeah. <laughs> that's our word. <laughs> yeah. That's our word. <laughs> now, what again, the game? thing was um, realistic. <laughs> Low price, low mileage cars that would be reliable. And here is a 2007 right. Honda Fit. No Subarus ever, then. Yeah, no Subarus should be involved in this whatsoever. Clean title, one owner, stick shift, five speed manual, has 95,000 miles only and runs great, no issues. New tires, brakes, and oil change, everything works, needs nothing, great gas range, price to sell, 4,500 bucks. It's a stick. Not I, I would for sure hyper mile one of these things. I bet you you yeah. could get like, a, a I bet you could get like a million miles a gallon out of this thing something stupid like 100 miles yeah. of a gallon my, my brother-in-law gets like if he's not getting like 40 miles per gallon he's like freaking out he's like something's wrong with the fit something's wrong with the fit we need to fix it <laughs> no that's yeah, sick i would hyper save you money out on one of these things it's a little crusty but i mean it's that ain't gonna get that i mean it's taken 15 years for it to get this bad so yeah i, mean, yeah. I think you're good for another 15 years yeah this thing will get you through college right. or whatever but they're huge inside too they're like they're really practical cars i heard you, you feel a whole, you put a uh, fridge in there in here yeah <laughs> no a mini fridge you could not a not a real refrigerator you think with the... probably buy this for 4k yeah you probably honestly probably. yeah you probably could buy this for four thousand bucks that'd be a great winter beater yeah this, this is the deal and it's a sport sold is it a sport old yeah this is the best car we've seen today how do you... the sports come with those wheels the and, and, and that, the little you know the, the little lip kit the side skirt the rear lip uh, the sport. Very reasonable car. The, the fog lights. Probably the most reasonable thing that we've looked at in these two episodes of Collecting yeah. so far. <laughs> the now, most reasonable. What? Oh, Godzilla says you can fit a Husky toolbox in it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. A dude on the AutoZone video, somebody commented, nice baby toolbox. I was like, what? <laughs> on the Baja video? No, no. On Yeah, on the Baja video. Yeah, that one. That's a huge yeah. toolbox. Yeah, it's not a small box. No. And I'm like, what? So I just told him, thanks. You could use that as an extra bed in your house. Like, that's a gigantic toolbox. <laughs> it's weird, like, the kind of things that, like... People fixate on and... Yeah, yeah like, I guess, like, people, like, angry people, you know what I mean? That, that 
yeah. Have to find something that they can nice baby toolbox. Like, okay, dude. I like all the dudes <laughs> yeah, telling you can't you swear say anything too much. much. Yeah. That's that's pussy shit, dude. I left that goddamn it in at the beginning of the second AutoZone video. On hoping, purpose. <laughs> yeah, hoping for that to happen. And it, it, it worked. They're here. They're like yeah, dropping like scripture and shit on you. <laughs> yeah, you better bone up, man. Yeah, yeah. they're just straight dropping Jesus verse. Jesus is coming for you. Yeah. And not the good way. Mr. Subaru <laughs> has a bigger toolbox. <laughs> but yeah. He yeah, texted yeah. me today. He's like, bro, did you check out the car I bought? He got a fucking STI. Somebody hit a bag of cement going like on the highway, destroyed the, the lower radiator support, and that's it. Airbags deployed. Yeah, you know, you but, hit a 40 yeah, pound bag of cement. Yeah. What's he do? 50 cars? Yeah, I think so. I think that's 51, actually. <laughs> Did you see the thing that f***ing Rodnick said he owned like 35 cars right now? I don't understand how that's possible, but yeah, he did say he owns over 30 cars currently. Like, what? We well, bought all the Haggard I... cars. He's got like 10 Miatas, right? But I don't know what all Wild. the other shit is. I mean, I, I was hoping the IRS was like, kind of like, you know, bend him over, but apparently they did. That was, that was in that video, too. He was talking about yeah, how he had to pay he like... paying 60 grand. I was hoping they were going to take all the stupid cars. <laughs> well, the, he, had to, he had to pay the 60 grand to stay out of prison, I believe. Those cars don't have any value. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's also true that they don't want the car <laughs> just give us cash. they're like do you own a junkyard are you recycling <laughs> these cars <laughs> yeah it's uh it's not looking good for all rudnick at the moment but uh not looking good we'll stick we'll, uh, uh, alc we'll, we'll says what do you think of jimmy's new pro chassis nobody should have a pro chassis i do not care actually you know who i have been watching i've been watching night ride night ride's good those polish guys are wild that's a, it's a fun channel it feels like polish hagger garage Yes, it does. I love it. I'm here for it. Yeah. Are they Polish? Yes, they're Polish. All right, checks out. Yeah, no, that's a good channel. Good channel. I only watch Collector Car Feed. Based. 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 Sure. So based. You remember you remember in Lord of the Rings when um when they're trying to when they're trying to get in the in the mines of Moria? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um you know, is it the 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 thing says speak friend and enter? Yeah, yeah. And then they finally like like Frodo or whatever is like, Well what how do you say friend in Elvish? And he says Bellock. Mm -hmm. I always, <laughs> I don't know if I can say the word though on YouTube, um, but I always think of the Polish people word, and I say it like that in my head. The Polish people, what, what is the well? It's just it's gotta be. be a, this has gotta be a racial hands. slur. Well, just put. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say it, Ricky Williams. No, not See, for gotcha. friend. <laughs> the Pol the Polak. No. What are you trying yeah. to give me a type of there? Yeah, that right there. Yeah, the word yeah. Polak. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you think this, this is? You think that the word Lord of the Rings is a bad word? It is Pollock. No, that's not right. <laughs> Pollock. But say it like, but say it like Gandalf. <laughs> Pollock. I mean, stop saying it. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad I, word. It's not that Pollock. bad. Moment. No, the, the Polish people are too Pollock. stupid to figure it out, anyways. Stop <laughs> saying it. <laughs> Pollock. Pollock. Shake it, baby. Lord Pollock. of the Rings. <laughs> you want to dance? Why did the Pollock plane crash? Because it ran out of coal. <laughs> hey guys, what are you laughing about? Racism! Cool! <laughs> oh my god. God, uh, come to find out, we're gonna have a bunch of Polish people evolving in the guy. this video. There's evolving no way guy on that's YouTube. a problem. The evolving guy on YouTube says, just lost a Polish subscriber. No way. Rest He's in fine. peace. Don't put it in, I'm telling you. Don't put it in the final edit. We'll lose all the polls? Yeah, we'll lose the five polls that How we have. How does the lock part make it bad? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know, but it does. They just they just want their own N word. That's all this is. It's just Polish people <laughs> they add their own N word. It's like it's like when white people pretend that cracker is offensive. How dare you? You're Balkan. You even... <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of bad words. Yeah, you guys. Where I'm from, you guys go wild. All, for all our words. neighbors. We're the ones you don't like. The Serbs. Yeah, nobody likes we, them. The Serbs. Nobody, all my homies hate Serbs. Yeah, on, Serbs. on God. Remote. Well, you tell hate. us if that's a bad word or not, and we'll stop using it then. 